Today is the 20th day of the Vyakti Jewels of Knowledge series. Now we will listen to Sister Mohini. Om Shanti. In human life, the biggest power that makes you successful, that is the power of concentration. Some people say it's concentration, some people call it focus. However, we in a spiritual terminology we call it my mera chitta ekagra ho sake my my mind is concentrated we call it because internally very very subtle energy goes on and that affects your mind that's why they call it the the silent mind or the quiet mind and concentrated mind. So it's called chit. That's like the life energy. The, the concentration of the mind is con connected to that. And even the, the mind and intellect is connected. However, this chit, this energy is very deep deeply connected to the soul, like you see the, the drama wheel, right? And the sanskars also turn, one is the, the wheel of time, one thing is my part, and the sanskars. These sanskars have very subtle impact on the, on the soul. And sometimes we, we control our mind, control our uh, control our mind so that we think very positive but sometimes you feel that suddenly the the thoughts are getting wasted or some it, it goes out to some soul so, so this all connection of chit with the sanskars that, that's how it is so <clears throat> very subtle when it remains very subtle so these subtle uh, subtle thoughts it is from your subtle attitude so the concentration uh, because uh, for that concentration there are many methods one thing is is the knowledge of the soul so baba has given a very, very little cave or very, very little hut where you can sit and concentrate. Like these uh, sannyasis do, they, they make a small hut or a cave and they sit there and concentrate. So Baba has told us, Brikuti, the, the space between the eyes, behind the eyes. So in this five element body so we call it prikuti the hut and whenever we want two minutes five minutes ten minutes we could go back and sit sit in that hut people go and sit in the room uh, sometimes we don't get a chance to go to the room and we can't go back going back to the room again and again and again but the the hut that we have between the eyes behind, uh, we can go sit there again and again. So for concentration, we go there and, and concentrate, sit there. We call it silence or quiet, like beyond sound. Some they go to the hills, go to the jungle for, for the silence. <clears throat> However, However, this solitude, Ekant, solitude is the soul I am sitting behind his eyes. 
very very deep concentration because it's not seen what you see through the eyes you don't need concentration much for that because it is visible so your mind is getting pulled towards that so my own experience when i came to the knowledge is that the concentration increases a lot the mind concentration of mind and intellect both because this is invisible and you are stabilizing your mind on that invisible so it's like my mind the mind is concentrated is stabilized in the self it is a wonder if you look at it because we have forgotten who we are right and we always think like uh, i i am such and such but that is not the true me my body so who is who am i if this is my body so when i realize who am i uh, i i have to connect your my mind how much of the connection is there between the mind and the body you will look at your face in the mirror uh, if someone uh, calls out your name even from a distance you will turn around so this mind is very connected to the body because we are body conscious but when we got the knowledge of the soul this and they say that i have to concentrate my mind but where do i need to concentrate it is my own self my own identity and my true form whatever uh, baba has told us about the soul our soul is to jab aap swayam se so when when we bring that awareness of the self that brings the concentration it has a lot of power so so when we whenever we get time during the day go to that hut of the between the eyes you don't need an hour you don't need a lot of time there's an example of brahma baba that i know that story that whenever whenever someone new comes to visit some officers come to visit baba Uh, they they say we m- want to meet your head baba says but no, child i will come in a, in 5 minutes baba will go to the room for 5 minutes what would he do while going to the room but baba would go there be in solitude go inside go within and then come out and meet them when he used to come out and meet them so then he will ask how are you doing child how did you you know what was what is your purpose there was once when four or five officers came for an inquiry baba asked how what's your purpose with a lot of love he said so they even forgot why they came here they kind of fell in love with baba how baba was talking and then then they asked uh, baba how do you fund these this organization baba said there are a lot of i have a lot of children they all contribute they all run this whole yagya you can call it organization but that's how it is run yeah. so everyone who was around all the sisters and brothers they baba they 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 felt that baba was really prepared for that occasion it doesn't mean that he he changed his clothes or something but it was his internal stage that he prepared before coming out so this concentration has a lot of power 
this stage of self-awareness, the, uh, the realization of the soul, that concentration, that power is very deep, very strong. And when you are in that stage, whatever you speak, whatever you think, it will be very clear, very clear, and it will be truth and it will be really, really powerful. So that's why Baba has given this knowledge of the Brikuti, the hut between the place between the eyes behind the eyes within the forehead. Even if there is a lot of things going on, still you can go back and sit there, you know, in solitude. If you go to home, some uh, if you go to the room, you, somebody can call you. But if you go there, you cannot be disturbed. And because of that, the catching power and the touching power is deeply connected to this concentration. So this stage of self-realization, it, it makes the soul very quiet, very peaceful, very silent. And the soul is beyond the, beyond the uh, sensual pleasures or anything because you are in solitude, because you are concentrated. If, the, if you keep getting affected from the things outside all day, then there is no margin of Baba touching you. So some, some people ask, what is the touching power? I, I say first become untouched. Don't get touched by anything outside, any, any situation, then Baba's, Baba's words will touch you because you need pure energy for that. Baba, Baba is there. Baba is um, very powerful. Baba is highest on high. And the directions that Baba is giving, it is Srimad. It is highest on high directions. And the biggest thing uh, on being in solitude is, is Baba. It is one Baba and that also point. But he is the ocean. He is my father and mother. So the connection is in one second. It doesn't take long. If you have such a concentration, if you learn that, and slowly, slowly, you, you, uh, you feel that you don't get touched we are not touch me not flowers that some, if somebody touches you you kind of wilt you so you are not like that mama used to say when the when the ship goes through the uh, through the ocean it is so heavy there are so many waves it produces but if you look behind after after a, a couple of minutes these waves kind of die down uh, so baba says uh, whatever big a situation is, it kind of dies down eventually. So my mind should also be like that. So Dadi Janki also used to say, your mind should not touch any of these situations. It should not be affected by that because then the thoughts will start producing. Anything that touches your conscience, uh, your awareness that produces these thoughts that is deeply connected even in the knowledge, whatever thing you like, whatever Baba's point you like, you start thinking on that. Any good experience you get, you start thinking about that a lot. So any anything that um, should not, any other thing from outside should not affect me because that will produce thoughts because it is then wasted. But whatever affects your mind, the chit, it is very deep and we have to be very, very careful for that because we want, we want to know what do I need to do. I need to be very clean, not just the mind, but my chit because that is based on the knowledge. The intellect will, will guide you based on the knowledge, but the chit that they call that is based on Baba's energy. Baba will touch you. And the biggest thing is, the biggest thing is I can call Baba in that that area, that solid solitude, the space 
the hut behind the forehead between the eyes prikuti it is very very deep silence there so call baba over there sit with baba in your solitude baba will come but even if a little uh, impurity is there in my mind and it is affected by a little thing how can baba come and you call him so so be close to baba only one baba today is shiv baba's day monday so we we call out to shiv baba we remember shiv baba it's monday right so baba also like baba likes the one who is quiet who is healthy who is clean there shouldn't be even any spot not even a spot forget about being dirty not even a slightest of spot on your conscience on your soul the white clothes you like but you have to be very careful with your white clothes right so even if there is a small black spot on your white clothes everybody will be able to notice that right so there are many people who just you know can spot that black spot even a little spot right so my in internally i should be very clean very pure i should be such clean such pure that there shouldn't be anything affecting me no situation no thing should affect me so remember this slogan either baba is in me or the sin is in me so it could be either or so in this solitude i be connected to the one my mind my intellect everything should be connected to the one so i call it prem me sama gaye that baba i am lost in the love of baba prem me sama gaye i am lost in the love of pan baba so that experience i should keep increasing that that experience that is the concentration of the self awareness self identity lost in the love of one my chit my attitude my attitude the attitude is very subtle ye vyakti aisa hai humne suna 10 saal pehle i even if i've heard about someone 10 years back Uh, i kind of keep it in my mind right but that is so long back and that is just one person right it is her, his or her thing why should i waste my time on that when i look at that person i get the same thought again and again right even after so years so so many years so that's the attitude right so that attitude also is very subtle the chit is also very the conscience is very subtle so when when you clean it properly it will be like the mirror it will look very clean i can look into that mirror of mine i can look myself up in that clean mirror now i can also look baba in that mirror so when i get the power of concentration in my life aapko har bhi successful in yoga and also anything that i do that i touch will be successful om shanti